Hello mates, I am Kiran Jadav here. In this session, I will teach you global custom exception handling in Spring Boot using the annotation at the rate rest control advice and at the rate exception handler. NC will start with our session. Simply come up with the Chrome browser and type that Spring Initializer. Here we'll create the Spring Boot application. This is the official web page to create the Spring Boot application. The project is Maven. Language is Java. In the Spring Boot latest version we are using here. The base package I am giving here com dot full stack. And the application name I am giving here name as a Spring Boot custom exception example. Now refactoring the base package here and packaging a jar Java version 17. Adding dependencies here. Dev tool for live overload. Lumbok, it will help us to reduce the boilerplate code. Spring Pape, inbuilt available, Tomcat server, and it will help us to create the REST API. Next, we require the data JPA for persistence layer, and we are using here database as a MySQL. Now, simply click on generate. See, within minute, production ready, application will be available there. Then, we'll simply copy our application and paste it into particular folder. Now, Simply right click on our application and do the extract. And once extraction is done, then we'll copy the path of our application. The next coming to IntelliJ idea and we'll import our application within IntelliJ. Go to file, new. Then this is project from existing sources. Here I am giving the path of our application. If it's not coming, then Simply do the refresh. We'll come up with the our folder. Yeah, here is our example available. You can simply right click there and just do the refresh. See. Then simply click on OK. This is Maven project. Then trash project with new window. I want to open in another window. Once it open here, then coming to our SRC main, there is available resources. Properties file available there, application.properties. And we'll add here database configuration. The configuration I will add from my local application. See, we have added database configuration, and here we have given the database name as well. And here we are using database as a MySQL database. Now coming to next, next is we have form XML file, then whatever like we are using Spring Boot version. The compatible dependency I am going to add here for Swagger UI. Then just coming down here and adding the dependency for Swagger UI. You can simply copy it from our GitHub application GitHub itself. Now for Lumbok perspective, I am just going to add those hard coded dependency for Lumbok. Then you can simply replace with this plugin as well. Here, Lumbok version we are using 1.18.36. Now, simply come up with the Maven and do the build MU in clean space install. See, it will take some time. Then, meanwhile, we'll come up with our base, base package. Right click on that, com full stack, new package, the package name I'm giving here model package. Next package, we are going to create the package, package name as repository package. We are creating here package name as exception package. Next, we are creating the package name as advice package. Next, we are creating the package name as service package. Again, we are creating here new package, package name as controller package. Now, we'll start to create the classes. Then simply right click on model package, new Java class, the Java class name, I'm giving here employee. Class is created successfully. Now coming to exception, we are giving new Java classes, record not found exception. Now coming to controller, new Java class, this will be employee controller. Then coming to advice, we are creating new Java classes. This is you can simply say global exception handler. You have freedom, you can give any class name here. Now coming to repository, 
new java this will be interface the interface name i am giving employee repository in service we are creating implementation class the implementation class name as employee service impl and now our build is success simply reload the our project here and we'll start with the coding part implementation development part here then coming to employee.java Annotate with added data. This is coming from Lumbok. It will help us to reduce boilerplate code like such a getter setters. Next, we are using other constructor. This is parameters constructor. Now we are adding here no constructor, it means default constructor. We are using entity. This is the entity class. And if you are not using add table, it will consider project class name as a table name. Now I am giving table name as here employee. Add entity. This is mandatory annotation here. And add table. This is not mandatory. Now we are adding here add rate ID, it means this is primary key. Add rate generated value, it means this will be at increment. And giving strategy as here generation type as identity. The variable we are giving private int, this will be emp how id, private string, emp how name, private double, emp how salary. I'm just adding three fields. In your case, you can go ahead with the other card, PAN card, email, password, whatever you want, contact number, right? Yeah. Now coming to a repository here. Annotate with add rate a repository. This is optional annotation. This is not mandatory. Now we are using extends JP a repository. This is our POJO class and the wrapper class we are using as an integer. Now coming to next, we have record not found exception class. This class we created under exception. Then here we are using extends runtime exception. You will be able to use here tryable, you will be able to use here exception as well. But most recommended, we are going to use here runtime exception. Then here we are creating parameterized constructor public. This is a record not found exception, and we are passing a string type of message. Then we are using here super message. See, here we have created the class like record not found exception, extends runtime exception. Then we created the parameterized constructor here. We pass the string type of message and within super also we are just passing here message. Now coming to global exception handler. Here we are going to annotate with add rate rest controller advice. And within that class, we are going to create the method. Method I am giving here public. You can simply say handle custom exception. Handle custom exception and we are giving the class name as record not found exception and this is the reference as exception and for that method we are giving the type as map map it is a key value pair map is an interface coming from util package and the key i am passing here string type and the value also i am passing here string type then annotate with at the rate uh, control uh, you can simply use here exception handler yeah and one more we are just trying to get the response status as well and the value i am passing here http status not found it means 404 if you want to say internal server error it will be giving 500 but i am just giving here not found if record is not available in database we are just going to print 404 it means not found for that perspective we use annotation at direct response status and the method level again one more annotation we are using here at the exception handler and the class level we use here at rest controller advice now i am creating the here object of our hash map then you can simply use string this will be type of strings we are giving here errors equal to new hash map so now adding here errors dot put there is you know put method available to add the key value pair then key we are just going to say this will be errors and the value we are passing here exception dot get message now simply use return errors it will return key as the errors and whatever exception value we are getting right the corresponding we are just trying to fetch it but if you want to say here internal server error you can simply give the internal server error as well 500 status code but now i'm just recommending here 
for record not found exception we are just recommending as not found it means 404 now coming to next next we have available service layer annotated with at the rate service and here we are using at the rate auto wired this will be private employee repository this is the reference we have created and the first method i am writing here public this will be typed as employee simply say save we are passing here entity as a employee now use return this will be employee repository dot save we are passing entity as employee here next public here i am using optional class option is a class it will help us to avoid avoid null pointer exception this is the feature comes in java 8 we are giving the type as a employee and simply method i am writing here and by id we are giving integer type of emp as an input now we are just handling here one condition if employee repo dot find by id passing id and if it is is empty then definitely we are going to use here throw new record not found exception and whatever custom message you, you want to pass here you can simply give the message now i am giving the message as employing id does not exist whatever message you can simply pass this message here and we use here throw keyword throw it is used to create the custom exception and in throw will handle only one exception at time and throw will declare always inside method see we declare here throw inside method and this is explicitly we need to write then now here you can simply use return this will be employee repository dot find by id if there is no exception it will return corresponding data from a repository but if if there is exception like if, if the corresponding id data is null then definitely it will throw a record not found exception and the custom message it will print employee id does not exist then that time it will never fetch any data it just throw the exception but if data available there then it never goes to condition it will simply return the data now coming to next and this is the last layer for the session controller layer annotate with at the rate rest controller so you can simply use here at the rate rest controller next we are using at the rate request mapping and here i am passing base uri as employees now we are going to create the APIs here for that perspective first we are using at the rate private this will be employee service IMP employee service we are passing. The first API I am writing here for post mapping and the API name save. So we public response entity data for our employee we are passing here and the return type also we are passing here employee. Then method we are giving save. We are just using request body. It means the request payload we are passing from postman Sagaria React screen. Then I am passing here this will be employee. Now, simply use return. This will be response entity dot ok, and we are calling here employee service dot save. Pass the employee here. And if you want to print any logs, then you can simply use slf 4 j This is again coming from Lumbo, and here you will be able to print the log as well, like log dot info. This is optional. Logger is not mandatory. The corresponding employee name we are trying to print it by using get emp name. And here also I am giving trying to save data for employee now coming to next we are writing here get mapping and this is you can say api as a find by id we are giving input as a emp id and this will be public response entity it will be type of our optional and optional is a type of our employee and simply say find by id we are passing input pa parameter here like integer type of emp id that's why i'm passing here at rate path variable integer emp id now simply use return this will be response entity dot ok and call here employee service dot find by id passing the id as an input now simply save it see such a way we done with our code now we are just going to start our application See one screen.
we have started our application now we are very excited to see application it will be up and running the port number is 8080 for that perspective i am just coming to here chrome browser and we'll hit here local host colon 8080 forward slash swagger hyphen ui dot html see the application is started here and the default port number using here 8080 see here is the port number default port number 8080 and here also you can simply refresh it it's up and running first i will try to save data i am just adding the data here for tora then the salary i am adding here 97000.22 execute data is inserted if you want to insert one more record simply add the data see data is inserted there is two records available now we are just trying to find by id i am passing id as 1 it will fetch the data see on screen now i am passing here 1001 I definitely we are expecting here it will be custom exception see errors what is the error employee id does not exist and the response status is 404 but if you want to change the response status code then you have freedom to available there actually here you can simply coming with the global exception handler and here whatever you want you can simply give now you can simply open this http status code class you will get lot of http status codes available there right for 404 we have available description is not found and those whatever start with the 400 those all are the client error whatever started with the 500 here those all are the, you can simply say server side issues whatever started with the 500 see those are the server errors and whatever start with the 200 mostly you are getting 200 right 200 201 201 those are you can simply say success see here is available 200 as well like success Then again, coming back to here, see if you are passing again like two ID, it will fetch the data. But again, if you are passing here 55, we don't have this ID right in database. See if you want to check database, you can simply use the database name and select star from employee. There is two records available, one and two, right? Yeah. If I am passing here 55, it will give us the exception like errors. Employee ID does not exist. Yeah. Such a way we done with our like global custom exception handling in. spring boot using add rest control advice and add exception exception handler and that's it in this session but till if you are facing any difficulties feel free to add your errors in comment box and thanks for watching this video and please do like share and subscribe this channel to get more updates and see you in next video